You guys ready for your next comedian? This young lady, hilarious. We love her. She performs all over the country, and he's, she's here tonight to perform just for Faithful Central's crowd. Put your hands together. Give it up for the one, the only, Miss Del Hazel. Hey! What's going on? Y'all make some noise. Yes, indeed. How are y'all? It feels good to be in Inglewood. Yeah, the black homeowners of California. You know, Inglewood's such a beautiful neighborhood. I see why the white people are taking it over. <laughs> yeah, the only thing about Inglewood is you can't go to the gas station after 7 o'clock, you know. That's where it's still that same old, old Inglewood, you know, that we hear about from other towns. Like, you know, we don't, we don't know for ourselves, because I'm from New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? So I only know about, like, what Dr. Dre mentioned on uh, Inglewood. That's it. And I see it at, after 7 at the gas station. I'm just being honest with y'all. Thanks so much for allowing me. I could just smell the judgment coming from over there. <laughs> I'm feeling good as I don't know what. I don't know about y'all. I don't know about y'all. The older I get, the sexier I feel. How about y'all? Yeah, girl. I'm 42. I have accepted myself, okay? I looked in the mirror this morning. I said, you know what? This big stomach, she's the bomb. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We've been on dates and job interviews. Still getting out of police tickets, and guys are still trying to holler, you know? <laughs> Plus, you can't have it all anyway as a woman, you know? Men, y'all might can have it all, you know? Women, we can't have it all. Have you noticed that? All the girls with the big butts, zero up top, right? <laughs> all the girls with the big old boobs, oh, pancake right here. All the girls with the big butt and the big boobs, oh, they got a big old stomach to match it, okay? <laughs> and if you ever see the girl with the perfect shape, she got the perfect shape, she got the big butt, she got the big boobs, she got a little bit of waist. Have you seen her? Oh, because more than likely, that face is on negative too, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I have another one too, but it's a church crowd, so I'ma just save it. Cause we just now getting along. <laughs> uh, uh, girl, I just recently lost like 20 pounds and I am feeling good about it too, girl. Oh uh, yeah, I look, I was feeling better about it until I went to this store, Kohl's. Are y'all familiar with Kohl's? Okay, so you know, Kohl's is like the white version of Macy's, okay? But they're not racist, so I'm like, I'm going up in here. Now, normally I'm like a size 9, 10 at a department store, you know? But you know, when you try to lose weight, you drop that first 10 pounds, you got a new confidence about yourself, you know? I'm at, I'm at, I'm at the store like, oh, I know I got to be like a, at least like a, at, le at least a two by now, I'm sure. <laughs> Girl, I tried on them clothes. I did not know I am a size 20 in white people. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah, girl. A straight 20. Oh, yeah, girl. I'm telling, look, I be telling all my white homegirls, if your man ever start bothering you, you ain't got to do nothing, okay? Just switch to a more ethnic weight reference on him. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'm a size six in black. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Nearly a five in Indian, okay? <laughs> a three in Latina. <laughs> I'm going to be shopping African next year because clearly I'm a zero. <laughs> Girl, confidence on negative two, leave it a sore. You know, I'm a medium in the black community, okay? I'm morbidly obese in the white community. Where do I get them earrings from? I'm so glad you asked. Do you know I hand make these earrings? And I have nine pair with me, so y'all could just 
get him after the show. And because I know this is a good church crowd with paying all their tithes and the Lord is just blessing them left and right. I know they want to bless me. I just know it. <laughs> it's Friday night. Oh, this is close to tithe time. I just feel the blessings. Oh, shabba lava 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 lava. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, girl. So you heard I'm originally from New Orleans. Yeah, child, I moved. I went from New Orleans to DC to New York. Now I'm living in Los. I'm now I'm living in an all Mexican neighborhood called Koreatown. How you like that? Koreatown is 100% Mexican, okay? Actually, it's 90% Mexican and 10% bed bug, okay? I call it bed bugsico, okay? Uh, let me tell y'all something about bed bugs. As an honorary white woman, I did not realize <laughs> bed bugs was real. I thought that was a nursery rhyme. Like, people was like, don't let the bed bugs back. I thought it ended right there. Oh, no, it was for real. And I'm walking around oblivious to it. I'm in Koreatown, you know, just moving in last year. I'm like, oh my God, it must be some type of discount mattress store around here. Everybody's just putting mattresses out because I guess they're getting a new one. This is Hollywood. They must be getting some good sleep. Yeah, they're not sleeping at all. They popping and scratching and moving couches at 3 a.m. Girl, that is a stressful town. Then I called a landlord. I'm like, why am I seeing more after y'all spray? They was like, oh, expect to see more until they die off and stay away from apartment number 206. I'm like, I'm in 205. <laughs> y'all got me surrounded. Girl, I call every agency I can think of. Girl, every agency, Department of Housing, Department of uh, girl, Environmental Services, Section A, Korea, girl, because it was some Korean people living in the building. Girl, I call all these agencies. They, do you know these crooked people call me back and offer me the job? As property manager. I say, you know what? I always wanted a free apartment. <laughs> But no, I would never be saying with it. Girl, I would never. I can't even relax from that experience, okay? I can't even be like, girl, it stole everything from me. I can't come to a place and be like, is that a cloth couch you're sitting on? Girl, I'll be standing up. Like, I don't want to get near it. I just can't afford to take it home. So paranoid. You say what? They're hit they exactly. Why didn't you tell me before I move here? <laughs> Man, I need no information after me move. <laughs> Man, why well, I know it now. You yeah, tell me or telegram me something. <laughs> yeah, and I'm so happy to report that I just got fired from my job. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me tell you why I got fired, girl, because they were supposed to be paying me a specific amount per sale. I work for a telemarketing place, okay? You know, they cricket is all outdoors, if you ever know of them. You, you, if you think about how much people call your house like a hundred times, then you know them kind of people are working as managers somewhere, and they're not that honest, girl. So I found out that they was not paying me but for only every third transaction. So they supposed to be paying me for what? Girl, I was like, I turned into a Harriet Tubman. I had to say, I was like, what? I am not here for no social media. File. I'm here because my rent too. Girl, them people was like, if you can't deal with the rules, get out of here. I was like, no problem. Girl. I had to set myself free. <laughs> I didn't realize it. Did y'all realize this? That slavery was still going on right here in America? Did y'all know it? Yeah. 
I did not know it. I just got woke up. Slavery is still going on right here in America, and especially at that call center, okay? <laughs> girl, I challenged them Jewish people, girl, the black people who stopped looking me in the eyes, girl. They was afraid, girl. One man walked up to me and was like, how you go talk to the boss like that? They go fire you. I was like, is this 2017 or 1720? I wish I would work for free somewhere. Girl, I marched on down to that corporate office. Girl, I was like, here are these five laws and these eight text messages so and y'all been breaking the five laws. Now I need all my money and I need it today. That man was looking at me. He was like, is that one of those new age white Jew blacks I've been hearing about that won't stand for anything? And I'm looking back at him like, why, well, yes, I am. Girl, and he was like, well, who should I write the check to? I was like, well, go ahead and write the amount first because depending on the amount, you're going to be writing it to the IRS when I call him with these five laws and these eight text messages. Girl, then I had to walk out of there like, wait in the water. I wish I would be somewhere working for free in today's, girl, my, girl, let me tell you something about my ancestors. Girl, my ancestors, do you know what type of life, okay, all jokes aside, I'm going to get back to the jokes in a minute. Let me tell y'all a fact, okay, a fact. I visited the slave burial ground in New York, okay? 50% of the slaves that were buried and found in that burial ground were children under 12. From the time a slave was able to hold a broom or take a pose or clean up, they were just worked to death. The other 50 resilient percent is us. If you could survive from do you understand what I'm saying? Some people don't even have a line here. They died at 12. The other was making it through those kind of conditions. Okay? That's why I'd be like, oh, no. Oh, girl, I almost, girl, I almost curse. Girl, I almost curse. Whew, and thank you so much, Lord Jesus. I did not curse. Because I want to come back here and talk to y'all but I would be fired on the spot. <laughs> Before I did comedy full time, I was a waitress during the day. And let me just tell you, waitressing turned me into a full-blooded racist, okay? <laughs> I pretty much ran a whites-only section at work, okay? Because whites and blacks over 40, okay? Because blacks over 40 have turned white by then too, okay? <laughs> Did y'all notice that when y'all work in a restaurant? Blacks over 40, oh, they're high tippers. They've gotten it together. They own homes. Girl, blacks under 40, I would be skipping away from them. Because, and the thing is, okay, great. The thing is, I feel so uncomfortable telling, that, telling this in front of my people, but that's how much, girl, that I need to let people know what we used to happen because there wasn't that many black people that came into the restaurant where I worked at, so I would go run into the door with excitement, like, oh, my God, how many of y'all, sister, how many of y'all? Oh, 17? I got y'all. I got y'all in my section right here. Girl, and my people would give me the business. Do you hear me? Let me get some extra barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce? I need some honey mustard. Is it free refills on the drinks? Let me get a separate cup of ice. Y'all got tea? What kind of tea? Hot tea? Cold tea? Bring me the tea. I'll check the tea myself. What about my steak? You want it well done? No, I want it medium well done. Kind of well done, but like medium well, but not a lot of pink, but some pink because I don't want it tender. Oh my God, what's up with this steak? I said, I clearly said I wanted it medium well. These fries is too cold. My baby said she want a slushy. I bring the slushy back. My baby said the slushy, slushy ain't really slushy, slushy like she remember. 
can I talk to a manager? Do we get some kind of discount? The appetizers take kind of long. We should get free dessert. What's up with the manager? Is the steak ready? Lord, where's my fries at? Now, I do all that work. I get them new fries. New, get the steak done. I don't even charge them for the drink. They got me scared to charge them for the drinks, okay? They done asked about the drinks so many times. I'm scared to cheap charge them for the drinks, okay? I'm bringing a tea. I'm bringing hot tea. I'm bringing free fries back for the kids. I'm sneaking stuff. Then I go in the back and I tell the manager, they're not no problem because I don't want the manager calling the, the police on the only black people in the restaurant. And girl... After all this, my b b people leave me zero on a $396 bill? Girl, I was so mad with the black people. I was like, why? I was in the office telling my white boss, why do we keep letting them up in here? Oh, I wish it was the 60s. Those N words. <laughs> I had so much fun with y'all. Thank y'all so much. My earrings, hand stitched, one of a kind, $20 after the show. Yes, I take credit cards. Follow me on everything. I am D.E.L. Harrison. I am D.E.L. Harrison. God bless you, and I hope you're chasing your dreams. Thank you.